Hi there, Business Ask Me Anything. Leon Chu asked me a question. What do you think the most techniques are helpful in setting up your career goals and then measuring the results? So number one is um, you wanna be able to gather job descriptions of where you wanna go from a career perspective. If you want the job of your manager, you need to find out exactly what makes her um, to the, what, what, what skill sets are looking for that made her an attractive candidate. So you wanna be able to make sure that you're looking at your specific skills and what you bring to the table. So a lot of times people think that just because they show up at a corporation and they work hard, they get projects done, that they're gonna be eligible for promotions. Not at all. You wanna be able to make sure that you're improving your skill set. Do you need leadership? Do you need negotiation? Do you need sales? Look at those different skills that you need to get to that next level and then start putting in the work. And so it doesn't, need, it doesn't mean you need to go back to university or go, you know, stop working and go to school. It can be something where you're reading specific books on leadership. You know, if you were to read 10 books in the next two years on leadership, that would give you a nice basis for leadership and also maybe look for opportunities to volunteer in order to give um, some leadership opportunities to yourself in order to leave a gr lead a group of volunteers. Um, when it comes to the workplace, nothing is really better than actually doing something. And so if you're not at that promotional level where you are actually leading others, you want to be able to find other ways in the community that you can be able to uh, basically test out some of those leadership theories. And so I find for a lot of people, if you just show up and you work hard, and you even do some of these things that we're talking about, working on your different skills, if you're not communicating that to anyone, nobody knows that it exists. And so you wanna have a, make sure you have an open dialogue with your manager or your boss or the business owner about what your aspirations are. Now just know that if you work for a small business where, um, and it's small, I mean basically under 100, you know, under 500 employees, you talk to the manager, you talk to the bosses, you might find yourself stuck because in, in a normal corporation, right, there's one CEO at top, and guess what? She's not gonna leave unless she gets fired, she quits, or she dies. All three things you really have no control over, nor should you have control over, and so you, want, you really wanna have a look at what you can be doing um, in order to make yourself marketable. And so um, what I mean by that is I would make sure that you have a strong network. I would make sure that you have a strong LinkedIn presence. So that way the industry sees you as a contributor. And so make sure that your posts are about you know, things at work. You can of course talk about your local sports team or other hobbies that you're interested in. I would definitely though, if I'm looking at leadership, be consuming a lot of content you know, at night, um, on the weekends about leadership so that way I can be seen as a leader and be given opportunity. So if let's say, for example, you know the local recruiter at, the, uh, at your competitor's firm and they, it seems like you're really um, into leadership and you reach out to them, they might say, hey, I think you might be a good fit for us. And so you go from this level at your current role and because there's only, you're trying to get the job of four people, guess what, over there at the other company, they just lost their person, so now you can shift over there and get a leadership role. And so, so when it comes to measuring the results, you're measuring what it is that you set out to do from a skill perspective, um, and then understanding that it might take you a shift. And by the way, it might take you completely out of your industry. So if you're like, hey, I'm really good at um, leadership in the automotive industry, you know, I'm a, um, a sales leader here at my local company, and I want to get into medical device sales, or you know, you, then obviously you need to know anatomy, you need to know you know that the body, you need to start networking with a bunch of physicians um, and their staff, and so maybe then that, that's where you can shift. But that that skill set of sales still exists. It's just that now you need the technical side of it because um, obviously bodies are a little bit different than automobiles. So hopefully that's helpful. Sherms out.